Today I'm going to show you the proper way to adjust a monitor control regulator. <clears throat> this is a dot package, which is called a duplex overpressure tandem, DOT, dot. Basically what we have a monitor in the upstream position and a control regulator in a downstream position. That is how we are going to set these up today. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to do is energize the regulators. Now both of these regulators have an orange spring which is 12 inches to 28 inches of water column outlet pressure. So the first thing you're going to do for the monitor regulator is you are going to back the spring all the way off. You're going to back it out <coughs> So that it is at its minimum range. So at this point we know that the monitor is set at a minimum of 12 inches. We are now going to set the control. The control will take over at the lower pressure. <clears throat> so at this point we are going to increase our pressure for the monitor for the control regulator down all the way. That is going to be at the maximum. This will allow us to set our monitor. <clears throat> so that should be set at 28 inches at this point. <clears throat> we are now going to set our monitor. You can see it is at a lower pressure than our control at this point, and we are going to place this at about 21 inches. So as we set our control under 21 inches, we're going to set it at approximately 15 inches of water column. So as we back this out, you will start to see this after we have reduced our control regulator from 21 inches. Once we hit that 21 inch mark, you will see it <coughs> drop. And then we are setting our control. There you go. Now we're going to bring this down to about 15 inches of water column. Now the reason that we have this spread in here is so that each of these regulators are not battling each other. They're not, they're not, one isn't trying to take over at all the time. This will allow our monitor regulator to be at full open. And our control regulator will now be controlling all of your outlet pressure. The monitor will be sitting there doing just its job to monitor your, <coughs> your uh, regulation in case your control fails. So that is just the easy way to, to make your adjustments to set your regulators and make sure that you've got several inches or pounds between the two regulators so that they are not competing with each other. And that's our demonstration for today.